we very much felt that with the growth in historic motoring and historic motorsport, that it was time to recognise the achievements of individuals, of organisations, of clubs that have really done something quite special um, in promoting the whole uh, historic arena. And in particular, we wanted to have a, a set of awards that were based on quite clear criteria so people could see what, how, what the, the standards they were being measured against. So that it, it's important that, that when they apply, they know the, uh, the criteria will be, and also having an independent group of judges. If you really want to measure yourself against the best, you need people that are both independent and experienced in what they're judging. So if you're judging a design award, you want uh, the great designers, the great stylists, people that really understand what makes it, uh, differentiates one candidate from another. And the same in restorations. Uh, we're not just looking for the shiniest car, we're looking for the, re the restoration that's been fully researched, that perhaps more time has been spent poring over books in libraries, working out the history of the car, rather than necessarily just painting it and polishing it when it's been completed. So we want a, a truly independent judging panel with, with a great depth of experience in the historic motoring world. We are the oldest automobile club in the United Kingdom, the second oldest in the world. Uh, we have a, a long history of rewarding uh, success and victories, whether it, the first British Grand Prix in the 20s at Brooklands, you know, the trophies to my right, the Dewar Trophy, the British Grand Prix Trophy, uh, whether more recent innovations such as the Woodcoat Trophy for historic racing or the Royal Automobile Club TT celebration at Goodwood. It's a combination of both rewarding and encouraging. If you've got these awards out there, it actually encourages people to aspire. They want to win them. If there's no award, what can they aspire to? And that's what we're looking to both uh, recognise the existing talent, but also encourage more talent and more people to come out and put themselves forward for these awards, and with a bit of luck, they may win. We do everything in the long term. The veteran car run is probably the best example. Um, we're well over a century uh, into running that. The awards will be held on the 21st of November 2019 at our Pall Mall Clubhouse, and they will be an annual event going forward. Um, we're, one thing we've always been able to do as a club, we do things for the long term. We're, we're not beholden to market forces or to uh, the whims of the market. Uh, when we have a passion for something, we do it and we try to do it very well.